Hey gang, hey friends, hey gang friends, welcome back, thank you for joining me, I hope this video finds you well, if you're new here then hello, hey, hi, welcome, you okay, you doing well, you good, good. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff, she does stuff and nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. Right, today we are doing a festive set, we are taking Royal Red and Christmas Grinch, both from... Both gel perfection polishes from diamondglitters.co.uk. I'll put the info up in a sec. I'm taking three glitters. I didn't know which one I was going to use. Look at them. <gasps> They're so beautiful. Um, that was Christmas Hollow Multi Mix. This is Elf Magic. And then we have Tis the Season. And I was just staring at them for a while. But, you know, come the fuck on, Bridget. So we're starting with royal red i'm going to do two coats of that over two nails and then i'm going to do two coats of christmas grinch on two nails i haven't done the fifth nail because i didn't know what i was going to do yet so we'll get to that uh we have a new subscriber follow d's nails um we the stag that we named from one of the last videos we named deirdre so that's now officially named after follow d's nails so go ahead and follow d's nails we also have nova nose beauty um who said that she's been thinking about um you know, I was saying in another video about the shitty comment that someone left and it stopped her from wanting to upload and that's really pissed me off. Don't let anyone's shitty comments online stop you from uploading your videos, okay? Shitty people will leave shitty comments. You just ignore them, okay? Do what I do. Just send back a really snarky reply because it's funny. Don't deter, be deterred by posting because of crappy people in the world. Um... So yes, but thank you for your comment. Um, I'm now, this is it. So I didn't know what to do with these glitters. So I just mixed them all together. Um, and now we have this little pile of festive Christmas spirit um, that my camera doesn't pick up very well. Maybe I should invest in a better camera. We'll see. So now I'm taking the first base, which is the gel perfection base coat. I'm going to do a coat over one of the green nails, but I'm not going to cure it yet. I'm going to, I just frogged in my throat. That was my Yorkshire pudding probably. Beg your pardon. <laughs> um, I'm going to um, pack that glitter in at the top so it's dense at the top and then work it down. You can pull down the glitter with your brush or you can gently pat your brush um, down and as it goes further down obviously it's good. the glitter is going to stick to the gel so it will just get less and less on your brush and do its own kind of fade. I decided to take it down quite low because I was just mesmerized by the glitter. <laughs> So we've got a low glitter fade and then I'm going to just pat it in around the sides and make sure it's all um, smooth. Have you noticed with clients when they say, can I have a glitter fade from the top and they're talking about the free edge and then I'll go to do it from the cuticle, whereas we have different, I call the top the cuticle area and they do it the other way around. Anyway, uh, so I've cured that and I'm now taking super gloss, super gloss and we have another new subscriber jen bauer um she's now binge watching the videos thank you jen welcome um we are topping with super gloss because it's a rubber top coat so that will um smooth everything out um and that was smooth enough i didn't need to um, buff that or anything that was just good to go if you want to buff a nail after topping, if it's a glitter one, if you feel any bumpy bits or clients that can't deal with any bumpy bits, then you can buff it and retop it. Just showing there that it's um, smooth from every angle and it felt smooth to the touch as well. So I wasn't going to bother buffing that. I'm now taking Royal Red again and I'm going to do an Argyle print, which, uh, <laughs> which I thought was kind of festive. But after doing it, realised it's more golf. Um, so if you have any clients that golf, <laughs> this is the one for them. So I'm starting with crosses, just mapping out, making sure that you get the same angle for each one. So after the first stroke, um, I sort of eyeballed the bottom of the first stroke to make sure that the bottom of the second stroke ended in the same place. Um, and just mapping out some diamonds on there. And I'm going to cure that. And then I'm going to fill these in. Just every other one. And then every other one will be green. And I'm going to show you a new, another comment from Cheryl Bruno. Who said, nice job, but could you please speak like a grown-up? There was no question mark. There was no punctuation whatsoever. So I assume it was a rhetorical question. 
But I replied, nonetheless, <laughs> because that's just how I, um, how I respond to shitty comments. You just need to take it on the chin and, you know, it, I, don't, I don't let it bother me. Um, the thicker and faster they come in, I'm, I, I imagine I will just ignore them or delete them. I can delete the comments and I can block the person from commenting on my videos. So I have full control over what's being seen. Um, but it's just, you know, gives me a giggle. So she got a reply. Thanks for your comment, though, um, Cheryl, because every comment helps my channel. So uh, regardless of what you say, thanks. Appreciate the support. So we are now going in with Christmas Grinch and we're filling in the other ones. I did two coats of the Royal Red um, and now I will do two coats of the Christmas Grinch. I think if it was on a person, I'd maybe do, um, maybe even do white first. Is that a good idea? Not sure. So you don't have to do two coats, but once you've got the first... Oh, we have another nice comment from Megan Dalton. Uh, so these are amazing. You're an inspiration to try new nail art. Um, and I love that. I love that, you know, someone will see a video and think, yes, I'm going to try this or I'm going to try that and not be afraid to try things. That's what it's all about. That's why I'm here. Um, and I love it and I appreciate it. Um, and I love it when I see being tagged on Instagram and I just think it's amazing. I'll sit in bed and design a little set on my tablet and then, you know, a week later there's people who are trying it themselves and tagging and they're out there and they're smashing it and it's fantastic. So thank you for everyone who um, tags me in a recreation. I love it and you're all amazing. And I love you so much, okay? Uh, I'm now taking Summer Vibes. What was I saying? I was saying about doing a, something under on the check, but... I don't, it wasn't too much of a palaver doing two coats, so um, yeah. So I'm now taking Summer Vibes and I'm going to do some... Well, it's not holly because as I've mentioned several times, I don't like drawing holly. So I'm just doing kind of bushy Christmas tree type leaves. Um, and I'm doing them in this colour first because I'll go over them. I'll cure this and it's a mess, but that's fine. That doesn't matter. Um, I'll cure that and then go over it with some of the Christmas Grinch, the darker green. Um, and that would just give it a bit more um, depth and dimension. Um, um, but I will say that on the check one, I did at first try doing a red base and then green diamonds, but it completely changed the color of the green. Um, and same for vice versa, doing a green base and red diamonds on top, it completely changed the color of the red. So it is best to either do them both on a white base or, um, as I did there, just go straight in with those colours um, after your base coat. Oh, rogue bits of glitter. Um, because, yeah, it changes the colours otherwise. And if you did that one last or first and then did your others and realised that the reds was going to be different, then it would just be a pain in the bum. So I'm now taking the Summer Vibes again after curing the darker green. And just doing some really small flicks just to add a bit more um, to these leaves. Um, you can see the darker green where it is on the red is very dark. So that's what happens when you put it on top. We've got one of the other reds now. I'm taking Foil It, which is the Gel Perfection Foil Gel. It is amazing. I haven't said about Gel Perfection, or have I? I think I have. But you can buy all the products at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code TEAMDG for a discount, you lucky little things. Um, the Foil Gel gets cured for two minutes and I'm taking... That was metallic gold um holographic red and this one is called shattered green um the shattered ones are amazing they're so good um and i'm just patching on the color you do first is probably going to be the most prominent so i thought i'd do the green first and then some of the red and then go in with the gold um it's obviously only going to stick to bits of foil gel that are still exposed where you haven't already pressed a bit down i'm using just scraps i always keep my scraps of foils just for this sort of thing um, waste not want not so I'm popping that on there and then going over with the gold to cover any bits that might be left making sure it's all covered and then I'm going to top that with diamond glass of course of course um, and that's that one done I did one like this in the Christmas compilation I'll put some links to some more Christmas videos um, in the description below um, I did that, but I did a bow on it like a Christmas present, and that was quite cute. So I'm now taking the Red Siam Crystals, and these are also from Diamond Glitters. And all the crystals come with 
uh, come in a pot that have got loads of different sizes in, which is is brilliant for um, when you want to do um, certain patterns and things. You don't have to buy a pack of each size. You just get a whole bunch of different sizes. So I'm taking three that are the same size. <laughs> Um, I'm popping them in some super base, which is the rubber base coat. And then I'm going to take the caviar beads, which again are from Diamond Glitters. And I'm going to pop those around it. And then I think I decided I wanted one in the middle. There's a hair on my wax pencil. That's annoying. Uh, poking those around with my cuticle stick, 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 stick. And then that will go for a cure. And then I'm going to top this with Diamond Gloss as well just seal in all the crystals and then you can wipe over your crystals with um, just some isopropyl alcohol or, or prep solution um, just to get rid of any wax that might be left on top of them from picking them up but be sure not to get any top coat over any of the facets otherwise they'll lose their sparkle so that's going to be topped and then cured is that it no we're nowhere near the end well we are but anyway come on the state of my fingernails oh my goodness that's green polish under my thumb um my fingernails have just got loads of gel polish and glitter and nail desk grime it's not human disgusting grime okay um but i'm sure someone will have something to say about it i look forward to replying uh i'm now taking this this is a gold chrome pigment from born pretty store they do sell gold chrome at diamond glitters i think but i just happen to have this one i've mixed it with base coat and now i'm adding some lines onto our um argyle pattern and you want the lines to go through the middle of the diamonds and so that when you do when i do the other direction i'm going to cure that when i do the other direction the cross is bang smack in the middle of each of the diamonds um the reason i cured the first lot of lines first was so that when we do this second line it doesn't drag and pull the first line and i'm using a super long striper brush from the internet is that helpful um it doesn't have a brand name on it um but you'll just want to search for a long striping brush um, and just let just lay the brush down and just let the brush do the work just guide it where you want it but let the bristles almost lay down um and just make your lines and then that was cured and I'm topping that with super gloss as well just to even out any sort of um, unevenness on the surface. And I'm going to show you now, I did this nail in a lot, in a smaller version as well. I mean, the nail is the same size, the pattern is smaller, but I didn't like it. This was what I did before that one. I just thought it was a bit too fussy, you know? And my lines, because the lines of the gold do sort of go a bit wonky, bit wonk majonk over where the diamonds meet it was there was too much wonk majonk going on so i did it smaller uh, i'm now taking uh i wasn't looking the first base no yes the first base yes um and this because i didn't know what to do on the last one i was like i want something sparkly and then i tried doing something gold snowflakes on it and then i just kept thinking oh, i want something sparkly and then thought just do the whole fucking thing sparkly you know so that's what we're doing. I'd normally just pour, this is onto the wet base coat. I'd normally just pour the glitter over the nail and then clean around the cuticle area. But because I didn't have enough glitter to do that, I'd have to pour and then um, scoop up and pour and scoop up. So I'm just using my brush, patting that into the wet, the wet surface. And then I will just make sure it's all neat around the edges um, and there's no pokey out bits. And then that will have... Um, full cure and then we are going to look at it oh it's so good each of those glitters by themselves is just as awesome look at the state of my fingers <laughs> i've got paint all over me never mind um all of those glitters are amazing just as they are but together it was it was definitely like being punched in the face by christmas so we're topping that with super gloss after curing um, and I think this one, I do give a buff just because it's a full nail of it and I could feel a little bit of bumpiness. Um, so I'm going to buff it and then top it with diamond gloss because I don't need another coat of super gloss now because that's all smooth and now it's all shiny. I've slowed this down <laughs> for some top coat porn. Um so that will go in the lamp and I think that's all of them 
I hope you like them. The the Argyle one reminds me of Daddy's Home with Will Ferrell and Marky Mark, or Mark Wahlberg, as he might be known to those who've not seen him on a billboard in Calvin Klein's. I hope you like it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more videos. I really appreciate you being here. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Miss Joe's Nail Co. Um, and I will be back on Thursday. I'm here Thursdays and Sundays with new uploads. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know how you are. And I will speak to you very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.